Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabe. Uh, today's video is gonna be another tire review. I got some Hoosier R7s to review. I actually got a new set of them right there. That's how good they are and that's how much I like these. Uh, so I'm gonna go over a couple things. Uh, these were on the GT3. I ran a 265 in the front and a 325 in the rear on my uh, BBS LMs. Sorry, LMs, fuck. E88s and uh, yeah, they've lasted four events. So this is a 40 treadwear tire. Um, it competes with the Toyo RR. Uh, not quite a complete race slick, but still pretty much a slick. I mean, if you look real closely here, let me turn this camera around real quick. If you look closely here, the way they're able to make these DOD compliant, DOT compliant is by uh, putting in these little tread patterns on the new ones you can see in clear as day. I mean, they're not very thick at all or deep. This is definitely not, you know, gonna provide you any type of grip in the rain or anything. But uh, yeah, here they are, here's a set. Like I said, they've lasted four events and plenty of uh, tread on them. Uh, you could probably get like one more event out of these, but I think they're pretty much heat cycled out. Uh, each event is four heat cycles. So, um, yeah, I was very impressed with these tires. Very consistent. Pretty much what you start off at at the beginning of your session is what you're going to get the entire time, which is nice. Uh, it's a very consistent tire. Doesn't really take in too much heat. Doesn't really get greasy. If you're out there for you know anywhere from seven to ten laps, of course you're gonna get um, a lot of heat in the tires, and you could feel it start to uh, get a little greasy. But I mean, that is a shitload of laps to be doing on a on a regular track day for any session. So uh, I mean, you think about that. Uh, for instance, Button Willow is anywhere from you know a minute fifty to two ten, depending on whatever car you may have. You could have a slow car, fast car, doesn't matter and uh, doing eight laps, I mean, that's 16 minutes. So that's a lot of track time. Um, that's pretty much a whole session anywhere you go. Um, and to have it stay consistent for that long is really nice. Um, the fact that you can flip these after your track day to extend the life, that's exactly what I did here. What I mean by flipping is uh, you have to dismount the tire and just rotate it the other way. So that way you can get even wear on both sides of the tire. So I went ahead and did that. Um, that extended the life two more uh, track days, um, which is very nice. Cause you think about it, the AR1s and the AO52s that I reviewed in the past, you can't really flip those. You just rotate them. And uh, I'm getting the same amount of track days out of these as I would of those. So. Very impressive that I can get that many track days out of a 40 tread rear tire. Um, I have ran, so like I mentioned before, this tire competes with the Toyo RR. It's another 40 tread wear, tread wear tire. Um, I have ran those on my E36. And I will say, if I'm comparing the two, I'm definitely gonna rock the Hoosiers. Um, I think that these are more consistent for a wider window of time. Um, these are also amazing on grip. Uh, the Toyo RRs, I think, might have a, a more grip, but the consistency isn't there, um, and the window that you get of consistency isn't there either. Not as good as these. The RRs are a very good tire, um, but I don't think they're as good as these Hoosier R7s. Uh, would I suggest getting these again? I mean, I got a brand new set right there. So yeah, of course, I would definitely um, suggest getting them, trying them out, and uh, I'm definitely a repeat customer of this tire. So we'll see. Um, I want to try out the A7 with the F80. Um, I'm gonna be running that tire for Bimmer Challenge if I can afford the points. Um, it's one more point than I'm running right now. So um i'm thinking i'm gaining some weight with adding a full cage so that should free up one point at least um to go ahead and rock the a7 in which i hear the a7 is faster than these but that window um that you have to set that hat that hot lap is smaller and uh, yeah it's just 
the A is stands for autocross and the R stands for racing. So, um, I mean, autocross, you need the tires up to temp very fast and um, you need to set that lap time right away. Um, as opposed to a tire like this, it, the tire temps don't need to come up right away. They don't need, you don't need your hot lap like on your out lap. So um, that's kind of what I'm hearing from the A7s. That's the difference between the R7. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try it out. So um, that won't be for, for a while. Um, I wanna try out uh, the new CR1. I wanna try out the 660. Um, so there's some, definitely some other tires I wanna try out. Uh, but that'll do it for this tire review on the R7. Uh, you can find these anywhere from, uh, uh, if you got a good hookup, you can find these for like 1500 bucks. That's what I paid for these. That was a homie hookup. Um, if you're gonna go to somewhere like America's Tire, you're gonna spend upwards of fucking $2,500 for a set for your GT3 fitments. So um, not a, a, a cheap tire if you don't have a hookup, but if you got a hookup, these are definitely um, the tire to go. Uh, one of the tires I would go with for sure. So uh, if you guys don't have any, if you guys do have questions, please drop in the comment section below. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, once again, that concludes my review on the R7. Uh, also, want to drop off a little teaser before I go. Uh, I got Streets of Willow on Saturday, and uh, me and my buddy Danny, uh, Stock Garage on Instagram. I just got off the phone with him tonight, and we are going to be tracking these babies over at uh, Streets of Willow. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, he's got a GT4, a yellow GT4. He's got a uh, E36 in Alpine White and an E46 in Alpine White. And he's, his E46 is a CSL replica. And uh, he spared no expense with that. Uh, CSL airbox, CSL full interior. Um, I mean, I don't even know what else you could do. Uh, he's got LMs. Um, very beautiful car. Uh, and so we're gonna be taking these out on Saturday and um, tracking these babies. And then Sunday, I'm headed to Button Willow with the GT3. And I'm gonna try and smash into the 40s. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I've never um, gotten to the 40s. I'm barely at a 55.1 in the F80, but I know this car is way faster than the F80. Um, it's just crazy how good the GT3 feels right now. It's just fucking insane. So um, that is the goal. We'll see. I'm going to push hard as fuck with the GT3 this weekend to try and get it. And uh, yeah, should be pretty damn close, if not in the 40s. So I'll leave you guys at that. Hope you guys have a good day. Take it easy.